I'm going to talk a little bit about my, the key moments in my business. And I think that you know, the reality of life is the reality of business life is that you know, our, uh, how things pan out really kind of comes down to about one, how we spend about 1% of our time. And it's nailing that 1% of the time, nailing those key moments. Um, so I'm going to share with you uh, my key moments of goo. And actually, it's quite, uh, it's kind of going back a while now. My, my, my first key moment of goo was uh, I was living in Brussels and um, I had actually was not having much success selling margarine. And I was kind of in this, uh, actually, it's the Pan Quotidien, which used, didn't used to be particularly well known. And I was sitting in this place in Brussels and they have this fabulous dessert called the Bombe au Chocolat, which is basically a chocolate mousse cake. And it's, it's fabulous, fabulous. And I was just kind of looking at this thing. I was thinking, hmm, it kind of smells really good, looks fantastic, tastes good. I know, if I could kind of wrap this up in a brand, that would be, you know, that would be a good business. And I kind of, uh, thought, yeah, much better than margarine. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about this a bit more. Um, and, and that actually, to be honest, you know, when you look back on your defining moments, that was a key moment for me. So basically I had this idea and I did nothing with it for two years. I just sat on it. And I remember my next key moment was when I was on a chairlift uh, in Maribel. And I was with a friend of my brother's who was quite a successful guy. He was a hedge fund manager. And I was thinking, he, he was kind of beginning to talk about, you know, what we did for a living. And he said, what do you do, Jim? I said, well, I've just, uh, I, I've just started a chocolate puddings business. To be honest, I was lying. I hadn't at all, but I wanted to have a chocolate puddings business. And I felt it sounded a lot better than selling margarine. So I said, yeah, I've, I've got this chocolate puddings business. And um, uh, he said, oh, wh where can I buy it? And he said, well, I, I said, I've just, I'm just launching it at the moment. You know, it's, it's about to go into wage phase. Of course, you know, <laughs> hadn't got into wage phase at all. You know, it was still an idea. Um, so that leads me on to, but, but I woke up the next day and I thought, well, I've got to do something now. You know, I've been sitting on this for, for, for two years. I've got to actually take some action. Um, and that's what I did. So my next key moment was meeting my partner, Motti. Now, you can see that Motti and I are quite different people. Um, we certainly have different religious beliefs. Um, but he, he was a great partner. We met in uh, Barcelona at a trade fair. And I always think that, you know, these types of events or trade fairs or whatever, you know, you could be meeting your next... Um, business partner or someone who's going to kind of transform your life. And to be honest with you, Motti and I both transformed each other's lives, literally. We really did. I mean, he, he was getting nowhere, I was getting nowhere, and we got together and we actually created something, I think, pretty good. So anyway, we, we, we talked about I said, look, Motti, I've been thinking about this chocolate thing, and uh, what do you think? And he said, yeah, James, he said, I'm having a terrible time selling to the airlines at the moment. I, I can't wait to, you know, I'm just thinking of giving it all up and investing in property. <coughs> so I said, let's get together. So we got together. And the next key moment is we developed our souffle. Um, I mean, I'd imagine some of you have tried this product. It, if you haven't, it is a great product. And I'm still in love with this product 12 years after I launched it. 13 years, actually, after I launched it. Um, you know, it does look, it does taste as good as it looks. So you basically get this lovely chocolate crust on top and then you dive into this pool of chocolate lava and it literally fills up your mouth with good feelings. It's a fabulous product. Um, and um, it took us ages to work out how to make it. In fact, to be honest with you, we didn't know how to make it until a week before we launched. Um, I can say this now, of course, but um, anyway, because um, making souffles is difficult. Keeping the air in the product is, as 
you know, you cooks out there will know is very difficult. We finally found this edible widget that we stuck in it, and it basically kept the air in the product. Thank God we found it, because then we launched it a week later. Anyway, we, we developed this dessert, and, you know, it's very good. Um, and I then, my next key moment, to be honest, all these key moments before I launched the business, was I met Perry, my design guy, who designed Goo. And I took him the, uh, the, um, the, the souffle, and I said, look, you know, what do you think? Uh, I need a brand for this. I had a terrible brand, terrible brand, called the Belgian Chocolate Company. <laughs> and I took it to Perry, and he said, God, that's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. I'm sure I can do a lot better. Anyway, so I left him with these desserts, and, and he phoned me up a week later. He said, uh, Jim, you must come in. I've been thinking about your souffles. So I went in, and the first thing he said, he kind of showed me this image. He said, look, I've, I've been researching chocolate desserts all over the world, and I've come across this brand in Scandinavia called Goo. He said, the weird thing is that they're doing kind of very similar to what you were talking about. You know, it's almost uncanny. And I looked at this thing, and I thought, God, that's brilliant. I love it. I can't. But at the same time, I was thinking, bugger, someone's beaten me to it. You know, it's like um, I couldn't believe that someone had already had the idea. And he kind of looked at me, and he started smiling. He said, you know, Jim, it's all yours. This brand is yours for the taking. This is your, this is your business. Thank you.